Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. And there is a bit of a party going on behind me apparently. Well, I did not want to screenshot. Oh well, I just did. Of the party. Ooh, another ender pearl. Ooh. So, I've done a few things. And a little bit off camera work. But I think today we're going to do just a bunch of random stuff. At least it's what I have planned. Um, because we need a few things. Number one, we're going to need some Certus Quartz. Definitely going to need some Certus Quartz. On top of that, we're also going to need more wool. So we're going to have to come up with some sort of a wool farm. So we've got a number of things that we want to do. Now, as far as Certus Quartz goes, we could get ourselves a digital miner, but I don't think we have enough um, to get the miner going because it's going to take a lot of work. Um, mechanism is much more advanced than it used to be and it takes a lot more work to get up that high into the tech tree. Now what we could also do is build just a simple quarry. Um, there's a couple different ways of doing that, but I haven't decided how I want to do it yet. Hmm. If I use a quarry, I'm going to dig holes. I don't know if I want to dig holes. But I do have a reactor. And we can make that reactor better. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. In order to do that, oh yes, by the way, EnderTech. I just added this to the mod pack. EnderTech is a very cool mod. This is all it adds, okay? So you got the regular ender tank, ender tech frame, and it basically makes a multi-block tank that a tesseract can utilize, so it can store liquids basically with a. Oh, that's the higher one. That one's ridiculously powered, or ridiculously expensive. But it's something really cool uh, that you can utilize. Then you also have charge pads, which. Um, I believe charge, I don't know if it's a radius or if you just step on it, and then there's also health pads. Um, yeah, these things are extremely expensive. But this is what I want, the redstone exchanger, which we will get to at some point. It's a little bit on the pricey side because we need a tesseract, but that's okay because we're going to make what we need for a tesseract today anyways. But the redstone exchanger is something that we're going to use in the near future. But what I want to build... Oh, and by the way, it's designed to be a late game add-on to um, thermal uh, expansion. So that's why they're, everything's so expensive and you're using tesseracts and things above that. We're actually going to jump into thermal because I want to grab, or I guess this is always going to show up as the resonant versions. What we need, first of all, is a fluid transposer. And we're also going to need the magma crucible. Oh, we need a few things. Oh, we almost have it. So this is why I like using the two sheet. They're the two crafting terminals because... Bingo! Redstone block. Redstone block. Perfect. So what else do we need? can't seem to find it ever. Uh, nether brick. I don't have any nether brick, but I have a bunch of this stuff. So let's just smelt up a stack. What else do we need? I probably shouldn't be crafting stuff on camera, but I'll craft at least one thing. Invar gears. Need more invar. Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. So I'm probably best off just doing this off camera. <gasps> Don't even have a tin gear. I'll be back with a few things here. Alright, I think I'm gonna put these two guys right here. Like so. They should be getting... Oh, well, one of them's gonna get power. <laughs> um, there should be some conduit left in here. Ooh, 
there's not. Well, that could be a bit of a problem. Hmm. Try to see if there's any way I can reroute this. Doesn't look like it. Well, in that case, I'm going to need three of those. Three of those. Luckily, this is really quick now. Won't take me long. Conductive. I think that's the correct one. If it's not, I'm in trouble. But it shouldn't surprise me if I get in trouble. Uh, then I need these guys. Right? Perfect. Boom. Now you got power. Perfect. So I might have an issue here with not... Uh, Not having one for there, but that's okay. So we need the Cementer Pearls. The whole stack to be exact. We're going to throw them in here. And it's going to go into here. Now we want to set our fluid transposer, our inputs. We want to be... We want blue over here. There we go. So now we're getting the resonant ender. And we want a bucket. Actually, we should probably have four buckets. One, two, three. Okay, so let's head over to the reactor because we want to upgrade the reactor. So do you remember exactly what it was coming out to be in before? About 4,000 RF per tick when it's running. So what do you think we can make it do now? I have a slight idea. So we're going to have to break the reactor in order for this to work. And I'm actually going to pull out and make sure there's nothing in there, just in case. So we're going to have to break this block right here. And we're going to want to do this quickly because we don't want the uh, resonant ender to get out too much. So we got one bucket there. Um, I'm going to have a problem with this. I gotta try not to drown when I'm doing this. Okay, so it needs to go right there. It should be this piece of glass. Drop the ender in there. I'm gonna drown. So complicated. And let's put that piece in. No. Well, we can at least stop it right there. For now. Boom. Perfect. So we should have liquid ender in that part. Should probably verify. Yep, I see it. Okay, so we just gotta put it in here. And the last bucket. Oh, I gotta break the controller. No, I don't have to. I'll just break this block right here. Perfect. Oh. 
Bingo. So, what do you think we can do now? Let's turn it on and see. Notice these levels, are they identical? Perfect. We're almost going to get up to 48. That's not bad. That's acceptable. In my book, it's acceptable. Perfect. All right, we got that done. So what do we need to do now? <sighs> we got to build something expensive. Something very expensive. Because I think I know a way that I want to make um, Certus Quartz a little bit more accessible. Because that's my goal. I need to be able to run Certus Quartz cables over a lot of this stuff. And I need Certus Quartz. How much do I have in here? 29 left. That's not good. But I have a way. We're going to use Mine Factory Reloaded. And what are we going to use? Um, this guy right here, the laser drill. If you notice, we have to place it over a hole to bedrock or the void. So we're going to have to put a good, or find a good place for it. Here's the problem. The pre-chargers that you need, 5,000 RF per work unit, so per block mined up. And you need four of them to be decent. So that's 20,000 per work. This thing's going to suck a lot of power. But I think we can handle it. As far as construction, um, rather simple, except for the pink slime part. We kind of need to uh, to get pink slime balls. So where there's a will, there's a way. So let me craft these two guys up. And by the way, these uh, plastic sheets, well, they come from rubber bars which are from raw rubber. If you remember raw rubber is being made by our tree farm right now so that's where I'm gonna get it from. So let me craft these up and then we'll place them down and I'll show you guys how they work. Alright guys so I've almost got everything I need however I still need the pink slime so I decided to put in a couple tesseracts. Now, tesseracts, you, as you probably remember, allow me to move stuff around. What I'm using this specifically for is for power in this case. So we want to be sending energy. These are disabled. Just like that. Perfect. I'm not sure why you jumped up. So it shouldn't have, uh, oh shoot, no. Supposed to go there. Oh. Unless the tree farm is running, that could be. So pink slime is a little bit harder to get, uh, to, well, to get. Um, it requires another machine for a mine factory reloaded. Because I actually have one part of the drill made. I have the drill here. But I need the pre-chargers. That's how you get power into it. And the problem is I'm running so low on ender pearls too. I actually converted, um, you can convert one gas tier into two ender pearls. So needless to say, well, I use most of my uh, gas tiers up. I think I only have one left. So I want to be able to go over here to set this up. Oh, I got a broken. A broken uh, chunk. So I got a quick log. Shouldn't take too long to load in. Although I am recording and it takes a little longer than. And a modded world always takes a little while to load in. There we go. No more broken chunk. So you see all these animals over here? I mean a lot of them. I think we're going to utilize them. Sorry guys. So let's throw down this machine which is called the slaughterhouse. So this side is the side that you want the animals to be on. 
and we're gonna use oh yeah this guy right here an ender fluid conduit the cool part about an ender fluid conduit conduit is that actually we're gonna have to put these in the ground I think it can move two liquids which is very important for the slaughterhouse because there is two different liquids involved so we should be able to just do it that way if we plop this guy down on top set him to main power receiving this thing's got plenty of energy alright who wants to get slaughtered Yep, it's working. This is probably not going to be that easy to do. You. You. Come this way. Come this way. No. This way. I think you're in range. No, you walked out. Dang it. Alright, we need a better option. Well, it turns out I need one ender pearl. This is my last cast here. I had 15 of them in there. This is my last one. And then I missed. Oh, so expensive. I really need a better source of ender pearls. We're going to have to come up with something. So I need one eye of ender here. And then I can make a golden lasso. Perfect. So what does a golden lasso do? Well, it allows you to pick up just about any uh, passive mob. Only passives, though. It will not pick up uh, hostiles. So you have to remember that. Oh, I missed the jump. It's going to be nighttime, but that's okay. So I have no problem grabbing cows whenever I see one. One straight ahead. You. Oh, see? Grabbed him. Now I should be able to put him down right here. Yes. Taken down. Now what happens if you just step in front of there? I don't think you can get killed by it. So we've got liquid meat. And we've got pink slime. Perfect. Just means I have to grab a whole bunch of these guys. And put them in front of here. So much work. You guys don't want to watch though, right? Or do you? No, probably not. So how are we doing? Pink slime. 106. 312. So it's going to take a lot to get the pink slime. Sheepy, you're next. I was gonna say you're gonna have to die. Hmm. Come here. So we got some on the first one, but how come we're not getting pink slime on any more of them? Uh, you can filter them. It's not getting stuck in here. I don't think.
think I can filter them. I want to just insert. Well, if we got enough. Oh, hi there. Let me grab a couple more here. We might be able to write this on camera here. If I don't run out of animals here. Hey, no. You too. A lot of those guys took damage. They must have wandered off into the water or something. Goodbye. Ouch. Not enough yet. So you're not going up. That's bothering me. We got a bunch of them in the pool. Why is it showing me the hit tag? Oh, well, maybe for you. I think one more. No, you are supposed to stay over here. Oh boy. Okay, you've got a lot of armor on. I think we're going to get zombie sieged here if we're not careful. Yes, sharpness. Yes, I have enough in there. So if I grab a bucket of this. Um, let's see. So I want to just extract. Always active. If I filter... Hmm. Just the liquid meat. If we blacklist it here. Oh, I was like, it ate my bucket. Because the liquid meat is not what I want. I want the pink slime. I need the pink slime. There's another cow right around here. Oh, he's right up there. I don't have my bow on my hotbar anymore. Stop it. Another one. I think I'm not going to be left alone. Alright, well I'm going to have to continue to work on this, but... Okay, there's a cow. Come here, Mr. Cow. Let's just test it and see if this works. Of course, somebody else is going to show up. You went up. You're not.
Hmm. Interesting. Well, let me take a look at this and see if I can work something out. So needless to say, this is turning into a bigger project than I thought I was going to. It's raining. I've been collecting a lot of cows. I've been starting to breed them. And slowly waiting for them to grow up. Unfortunately, because I have uh, Hunger Overall installed, it uh, changes how long the cooldown is for them to be bred. So there's a lot of waiting involved. A lot. But I've been thinking. And I grabbed all those cows from around here for the most part. Only the babies are the ones that have been bred. Um, none of the little ones I think have grown up yet. But I've been thinking. So how this works is if you get a thousand millibuckets, so one bucket's worth of pink slime, you put it into the to the world, similar to this, and that block turns into a pink slime. Now I can kill the pink slime right there. I will get, you know, the chance for a couple slime balls. And then it's dead. And then you need another bucket full to spawn. That's going to be a lot of pink slime. So instead, I think we need to look at a spawning system. Now, yes, I was looking up a fence because I've been using 1.8 recipes and I couldn't remember what the 1.7 recipe was. Kind of sad when it was just sticks at that time. So if I put in a spawner, there's a couple different ways. You can do a powered spawner here um, from Ender.io. Or you can use an auto spawner. Now the auto spawner is a little more complicated and I don't think we can set it up at this time. So I think we want to try to get a powered spawner going. Powered spawners are expensive. Just a little bit. This is probably the hardest part. But it's doable. We also need a space for it. And so here's what I was thinking. I would love to have it up on the second floor here. And I will probably, let's see, I don't know if I have what I need to make an elevator, but we will find out. I do. And that was my last ender pearl. Lovely. Now I'm going to be smart about this, okay? Make sure to break the block above it. Because now if I put this in right there. I can jump up to this point. Perfect. So I want to put it up here, but I want to make it look really cool. I want to put a glass floor into it so that we can look up as we come in here and we can see the spawner above us. And I'm going to use grinders from MFR, uh, mostly because they will give me mob essence, which is what you need in order to power uh, the auto spawner. This auto spawner from MFR needs uh, mob essence. So we might as well grab it from the grinders when you know when we can here in the spawner. Now the spawner room is going to be big enough that we can put a couple spawners into it, which is the whole plan to begin with. Um, we're going to use grinders. Grinders have a 5x5 five five, um, capability of grinding. So I think we're going to make a 10x10 10 10 room up there. So while I'm waiting for those cows to finish you know, growing and breeding and playing around with that. I'm going to start building this room up here, but I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it. And I don't know if I have anywhere near the stuff I need to craft it yet, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to start digging this out, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Oh man, I just want to murder so many cows. I am so sick of working with cows. I have bred so many they have killed me a few times because, well, let's just say don't wander out in a blood moon. Just just don't. But I have myself a pink slime bucket. Whew. I'm so happy to have that done. I also crafted up a soul vial, um, which is just some fuse quartz and solarium. Now, I don't know if I've made this yet before, but it's just gold and soul sand. I think I might have made it last season, but I don't remember. Now, we need to capture it in the soul vial if we're going to do a powered spawner. Which, by the way, what do you guys think? 
been working on my spawner room up there. These are some uh, factory blocks from Chisel. We got some Ender IO clear glass. Got a little doorway in there right now. Uh, controls will be over in that side, but uh, I kind of like the looks of it. We got to put in a ceiling of some sort. I haven't done that part yet. And uh, I think there's some touch up work that needs to be done. Yeah, outside. Kind of shape the mountain a little bit. But I kind of like it. Now, if it does not work, uh, if it does not work with this, we have to use an MFR spawner. And in order to do that, we're going to have to craft ourselves something. And that is going to be, uh, I forget the name of it right now. I really should know this. Um, 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 here we go. Uh, Safari Net. Or reusable Safari Net. Which is not, you know, it's it's expensive a little bit. But we have what we need. So we can capture it in that. Um, I think to be safe, so we don't lose it. Actually, we could do it up here. No, let's do it downstairs. Nice and safe down here. So we're going to put one, remove one block. We're going to put this down. And it should form a slime. Should. Guys. Hello. <coughs> there he is. Oh, it's a baby one. It's a baby slime. Hi. How's it going? Well, let's see if it works. <gasps> Big slime. Got him. Oh, that's that's ideal. We can do it. Oh, we can spawn him, which means we can auto kill him, which means we can get all the pink slime balls we need. But we're gonna have to do that next episode because, honestly, my quest for a pink slime has used up so much of my time. This uh, I've spent about six hours doing this episode. It's ridiculous. But we have a pink slime, and we can actually proceed. So. Ah, it took a while, but we got it. I wish it would have been a big one. Hmm, I wonder. I can melt them down. It would be nice to, uh, to maybe, oh, I don't know. Maybe make a bigger one instead of the little guy, but we'll see. So with that, guys, oh, it is good to be done with that. One step closer to getting more Certus Quartz. But with that guys, thanks for watching and as always, take it easy.